go here and just go like right in the center. Oh! <laughs> oh, that doesn't tickle the end of my dick. I don't know what will. Let's do it again. Oh! <laughs> G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 once again, where we are back in my favourite base, back in Hardcore Survival once again, and before I do anything, I need to do one very important thing that people have been yelling at me about in the comments for a couple episodes now, and that is, I need to get my AK-47 and take my anti-rad out of it. My AK is only a level 3, I don't really use the AK anymore. Uh, it doesn't really have a place in my arsenal. So I'm going to put that back into my little box over here, just like that. And I'm going to put my anti-rad, and I'm going to put it on the bow, and I'm going to put it on the shotgun. But I definitely have, I've been looking for anti-rad for so long, which is dumb, because I clearly already had anti-rad. I might even just bang it onto the shotgun. I might take the flashlight off, put the anti-rad onto there, to make the ultimate oh shit shotgun I possibly can. Uh, you could probably do it with weapon flashlight, banging you onto there as well. You've already got cripple them. And I guess I'll just put cripple them, oh, I've already cripple my bow. Well, what's going to need cripple them then? Maybe, maybe, maybe my sledgehammer. Can I put it? Yep, well, sure. Why not? Let's put the cripple them on the sledgehammer. I'm going to be beaten. No, I can't put it on there either. Well, I have an extra cripple them then for no bloody reason. But the important thing is the anti-rad is on the oh shit shotgun. So when I come down into a waterworks once again and come up against a couple of glowing radiated douchebag biker zombies, I can actually kill them this time and I won't get like within a bee stick of dying. So something else I want to do as well, I want to take the, uh, the mods off my axe and my pickaxe as well and put them all as many as I can into my sledgehammer because I was thinking about it and I was reading some comments about it and running around with like three different melee options so like the, the fire axe the, uh, the pickaxe and the sledgehammer is a bit redundant when the sledgehammer can just do everything so if I put all of those into there that is now my chest opening door breaking down uh awesome little sledgehammer so I can put that in there I can put all of my tools away that's my toolbox or, no that's my that's the wrong one uh you go away you go away i have my med kits there i thought i did have med kits when i went and almost died at the bottom of the waterworks i was just an idiot and like took on more than i could chew uh yeah no nah, I, th I think we're good is it a drop off the last couple of things i'm actually sorting out my inventory for once in my life and it's good my level six master rifle isn't too far away i do want to make myself a couple of uh is it is it uh, centered i think it's going to be yeah let's make myself like 10 of those why Ah, oh, it's in the wrong thing. Never mind. Let's find myself 10 of those because I want to put some more light into my killing corridor out the front. It gets a little bit dark. I know I could have just typed in 10, but whatever. We're there now. Make those. That's going to take 30 seconds. You've got like five seconds left. But I want to make it a bit brighter inside the killing corridor to make it a little bit easier to shoot Jeffries in the face. Oh, there it is. There it freaking is. You know what? Straight away, straight off the bat. Boom. Here, have a cripple them. So we have that. We have all of this going on. We have a rather nice little uh, little system going on here. Oh, this could be really fun. I can hear a screamer out here somewhere, but I don't know where she is. I need to kill her before I go off and do any sort of renovations. Uh, oh, oh, there you are. I see you. I see you. Oh, don't see me, please. Knock you down. Kill you. Whew. Okay, there's going to be plenty more screamers to come. We're going to bang down 10 more torches. Not that this place wasn't gaining enough screamer attention already with all the torches and the, the crafting tables and stuff like that. With everything that's going on here. Oh, why not? Let's just, let's just get some more in here. Ow! Ow! Bob, why? I forgot about that. I also need to remember to repair you, I think it is. Ow! One of these things. One of the uh, electric fences needs to be repaired and I just need to find out which one it is. I think it's that one there because that's the one that has shit all of the, all of the current running through it but I can't can't quite tell. All right, whatever. We'll go at the top. We'll put down the new torches. Then we can worry about the electric fences. Because uh, this uh, killing corridor has definitely seen some better days. So it turns out I'm a little bit of an idiot and I made the wrong kind of pole. I wanted the SCTR pole, which actually sits on the side of the block. Because this one, as you can tell, goes right in the middle. So when I put the torch on it, there's going to be a big gap between the torch and the pole. So instead, I've gone and made myself some one quarter SCTRs. Because there's no pole SCTRs you can actually just craft. Which is very, very frustrating. And that will sit, yeah, right up against the edge like that. I can put the torch right like that. And that looks a whole lot better. I'm sure there's a little like lip underneath. It's not quite attached, but that's okay. 
okay. At least the physics of this actually makes sense. That's far more important to me than really, well, I mean, anything else. And the title of the gap underneath is so going to put all of these all the way around and then flip that to there. There we go. So it's all lined up. So 10 of these bad boys down and then 10 torches on top should make a whole bunch of attention for the heat map. Uh, the screamers will be coming thick and fast, but that's okay. That doesn't matter to me too much because I'll be gone for most of the time. And then at night time when I actually want to harvest the screamers, this place will be lit up like the fucking MCG on Friday night footy. All right, killing corridor is sorted out. I can put my nail gun away and let's go on a new raid. Let's go get some more loot because now that I have my new marks for rifle, I need to get some cool mods for it. I need a science, I need a red dot sight. Need all the things, it needs sprods, all the things that go into it. But most importantly, I need to find myself some Jawoodle purple dye because I still do not have any of that, and that is unacceptable. I've got some bandages. Let's put you. Uh, I probably shouldn't take the Master Rifle with me right now, given that it has nothing on it. I can't really use it for the moment. Plus, my silence pistol, my shotgun, and my bow really do everything that I need it to do. Uh, I can put some of this stuff away downstairs, grab my bike, and head out into the big, wide-open, zombie-filled world. I've come out to a relatively untouched part of the world. Like, I haven't really been out here before. There's a nice big area of grey of unsearched territory, so maybe I'll find some good places to loot out this way. You never you never really know until you come here. That's one of the firehouses that isn't the best for it. The post office? Mm, nah. I, d I did read somewhere that like a really good place for uh for, for die collection is like cemeteries because they're in coffins and stuff. <gasps> Ooh. But that's a pawn shop, and we all know how good the pawn shop loot is out the back. So let's quickly just duck around the back here. The game is struggling. It's only like 10 FPS. It's not having a very good time, but that's all right. Let's quickly duck in, beat on the door. Oh my God, if the frame drops could stop happening, that'd be wonderful. Beat on the door with my new wonderful blue sledgehammer. Ah, oh, wake up all the Jeffreys inside and let them open sesame and come out the front for me to kill them. I can see the dog through the window, but he just doesn't want anything to do with me. Why, why won't you come beat down the door? Is there anyone else in there? There's a, there's a lot of them in there. Come on, please. You go. Oh, oh, of course. Of course, as soon as I open the door is when they all bloody wake up. Oh, okay, that's right. I get stuck on the fence like you normally do. I'll kill each and every one of you. Oh, you didn't get stuck on the fence. You're not as dumb as a dog. Oh, it's a feral too. Kill him, please. The oh shit shotgun is always what you need. If ever you're in doubt, it's oh shit shotgun every day of the freaking week. He had a, a fair bit of stash of cash on him. He had some fair dollary dudes on him. I'll take those. You guys can stay there. Quickly just run inside. Is there anyone else waiting for me? No, no, we're looking good. I don't want to go through there because that's a lot of zombies. All right. Well, now I can just uh, take my time, get through all the boxes. Sledgy does one hits on the crates. Oh, Sledgy, why did I ever doubt you? Why was I running around with a pickaxe and a bloody fire axe for so long when Sledgy was all I needed? Have faith in Sledge. Sledge will never let you down. It still takes a little bit to get into the safe, but not that much. Not as bad as I was expecting to be for a, a blunt force instrument. There's no, like, there's no point to this. There's no breaking through the sides. Just beam way through the door. Triple storage pocket, hunting rifle, scrap that for the ammo, take you. Yeah, okay, all of that. That was a pretty good find. That's relatively useless to me because I've already got like max pockets anyway. But whatever, not complaining at all. Relatively good loot session there. No purple dye, but I did find some other good stuff. Jump back on the bike, head back off into the wilderness and see if there's anything else I can find. This looks like I can maybe, ooh, someone died out here. Random loot bag, what have you got for me? Cash and arrows. All right, I'll take that. Thank you very much. I like finding random loot bags out in the wilderness. Sometimes zombies just kind of like time out and die. And I'm okay with that because that, that's the thing. You get little, get little treasure troves here and there. And it's never a bad time. Bob's Bakery. No. Oh, Shotgun Messiah. Shotgun Messiah is part of a triple. Oh, I reckon, uh, this might be one of the ones I can get through rather quickly though. And I reckon I get up to the roof and get all the good loot pretty damn fast. I mean, I could just build up there with my frames. Uh, No, this is a different one I'm thinking of. I don't know, maybe I will go up the top anyway just to see what's up there, because you never know. That's usually where all the good loot is, so I may as well get up there quick smart and get what I can. <laughs> For some reason, there's a supply crate up here that I completely forgot about. There's a cruise over to here and go... Oh, how did you not die from that? I got a stealth on it with like a fully kitted out sledgy, and you wore it. That's bullshit. I knew I should use something else. Uh, I did wake up a couple of zombies... Building my way up though, uh, jump over to here, stay on the outskirts, stay on the edges, because that's usually going to be the best option, because at least then I know I can't fall down to my death underneath. 
put a couple into you. Oh, man. I really love my loadout right now. I feel like I've got every situation covered. I cleared out most of the zombies, and that looks like a path up to me if I've ever seen one. Jump down to there, and up to here. Oh, up we go, and over the... No, damn it. All right, parkour skills, not what they need to be for this. Up to there. Ah, oh, get across to there. God, it's really... Can't quite make it how I think it's intending me to do it. Come on, spaghetti legs. Get up the top, and one more... Damn it, can't get over there either. I reckon as soon as I put my head up over here too, it's going to be like 18... Oh, I was going to say like 18 dogs, but I see some rads. I see some rad feet over there. Like I've got my brand new anti-rad shotgun ready to mess them up if they do come at me. Where's everyone else? Where are they all? I've got my trusty silence pistol ready to tear them apart with some sweet stealth damage. I just need to know where they are. Oh, that's a landmine. Where they are first. Hello? Just like... Oh, there's so... There's so many rads! Get stuff! That's bullshit! Oh, and some vultures too. Okay, well, I have my trusty bow. Let's take care of the vultures first. The one at the back. Uh. Okay, there's one. Don't wake anyone up, please. And uh, two. So, all right, now I've got the feathered fox out of the way. I think we're okay. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this with one shotgun? This is, this is ridiculous. Get stuffed, mate. I've just got to be probably as stupid as possible. I want to call it brave and try and get as much stealth damage as possible. I can't see this guy's head, so I'm going to have to go straight for a nut shot. Oh, he woke up. He woke up right at the worst possible moment. No, no, stop. Aiming down the sights, idiot. Come on, get around the corner. We're just going to keep running, keep moving and shooting because we have the anti rats so we're doing as much damage as we possibly can. We should be okay. I've got enough room to run around. There's some more Jeffreys awake somewhere else. Come on, get closer to me. Closer. There we go. Do, get the anti-rad working so you don't heal. Please die. You're dead. And boom, and boom, and you're dead. Oh, the anti-rad makes such a difference. Who needs anything else when you have the glorious anti-rad goodness? And this isn't even where all the loot was. I did that for nothing. Damn it. I have to keep going. There's more to go. Oh, it's only going to get worse and lots of zombies are alive now. Oh, 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 that was bad. That was bad. I did just whip out the shotgun, thankfully. But I did not mean to come down here just yet. Get a headshot. He's dead. Anyone else coming for me? Oh, the trap got me. The trap floor got me. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Caught in a spike? Yep, that's fine. You, you enjoy... Oh, there's a lemma right there. Don't set that off because we'll all die. He's dead. I have to go down there, do I? I hope not. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Or was I supposed to stay in the ceiling? Oh, I see some rad fists. I see some rad zombies. Ow. Oh, how did you get me? I was outside the bloody room. Oh, God's sake. How can you do anything without the shotgun? The shotgun is life. The shotgun is glory. You can do anything you want. You can be as loud and obnoxious as you like, as long as you have the wonderful shotgun to back you up. You're down on the ground. I don't think I actually killed you, did I? Did, is Arlene dead? Oh, Arlene is dead. The rat Arlene died from two shots to the face. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was close. Your friend got me like that a second ago. Shot you right in the gooch as you fell down. Whew. Okay. Are we are we safe now? Are we secure? Are we all right? I wouldn't mind some more shotgun ammo. I've only got like 100 left. Although that's like 100 zombie kills. That's, that's a fair amount. But I always feel better just having more. I always want more shotgun ammo. Oh, why couldn't people sh store their shotgun ammo in the oven? That seems like a totally safe place. Ah, there it is. I knew it would be up in the ceiling. I was really confused because I kept going through this building and it turned out I just came out like at ground level. So I feel like I was going backwards there. Uh, take some sham, don't do the rest of that. I know you can make stuff out of sham sandwiches, but I just don't have time for that. Of course, compound bow, wasting my time. Come on, all I want is sweet gun modes for a master rifle or purple dye. Walker, Jesus Christ, get nothing here. Absolute donuts. Not even getting shotgun ammo anymore. Burning shaft mod, scrap that one. Whatever, I'll take that too. Come on, shotgun messiah crate. You are the only hope. Give me. I just made one. I just made one of those. You give me a. Oh, you're really fucking me here, seven days. You're really pissing me off. I want to do all that effort to make myself my sweet. New oh, shit. Uh oh, oh. Oh, oh, I land a little lip. I'm all that effort to make myself that sweet bloody level 6 marksman rifle. And then you're just like, mm, yeah, nah, cool effort though. But also, here's a new one in case you wanted to. I don't want to. I just wanted that one to start with. I'm gonna quickly hit up this uh, military base just here because there's that easy to access gun store box right at the entryway. Although now that I'm a high enough level, I feel like this place is... Oh, oh, someone's been here before. Have I been here before? I see... Already see a rad zombie all the way in the back there, which is bad news bears for me. Uh, sneak on through. Yes. Oh, I have been here. Look, the doors are all open and shit. When have I come here before? I don't I don't remember ever coming here before. 
Oh, I'm right on the cusp of where I've been. Okay, well, let's just let's just do this quickly then. Can I quickly raid this? Oh, yep, it's untouched. All right, everyone. Hey, everyone, please wake up. Please come fight me. I'd very much enjoy your company, but outside the base so I can quickly go on a raid afterwards. Oh, the, <laughs> the, the entryway was right next to the one I've already been at. All right, come on, everyone. Out the front, single file. That's the way. Come on, lads. I've got shotgun pellets for all years. You just need to come nice and close. That'll do. Yes, lovely. Orderly line, please. I'll get through all of you eventually. Man, rads really aren't that big of a deal when you've got that anti-rad. Thank God everyone reminded me that I had one of those sitting in my unused AK in that box. Because otherwise, that'd be really quite annoying. Are you dead? Oh, the sledgy. The sledgy does what it wants. You can't stop the sledgy. All right, quickly grab this one. Ah, Sh oh, shotgun sh I mean, the level one shotguns are fine because you're getting like eight shotgun shells out of them. Oh, I've already beaten this one down as well. All the loot has respawned. Shotgun shells, ammo. Scrap that. Uh, scrap that as well for the iron. Um, what else is in here? There's some ammo crates as well, I think. I might quickly hit up them just to see if I can get some more shoddy ammo. Is there any, any Jeffreys left hiding in here? There often is. Oh, there's a Yeti outside. That's all right. Not my problem. As long as he's not inside the building with me, I feel like I'm okay. It's getting pretty late on the day. I reckon I've got time for one more decent raid if I can find anything that tickles my fancy. Oh, the skate park. The skate park would be fun if, like, the physics for ramps and stuff worked. I'd totally take my motorbike into the skate park and do some sweet jumps on the sweet half pipes. But this is never going to work. I'm just going to dig my spikes into the bottom of every kicker. And everyone's going to get real mad at me for ruining their skate park for them. Uh, did I already... Is this the pawn shop I was in before, or is this a different one? I feel like this is a... No, no, it's the same one. Okay, never mind. I thought, this town isn't as big as I thought it was. There's not that much buildings out this uh, kind of... Wait, where are we? Out, out this way. Maybe we'll head back to this right up here. And I'll, oh, shit, that was wrong button. I'll turn right, and we'll see what we can find off to the west. Oh, there's another pawn shop out here. Another port on a paper mill. I'm going to go for the pawn shop first because that traditionally... Well, I mean, that has some of the best loot that's easy to access in the game by quite a fair margin... Let's just leave that one there, run in here, and what up, everybody? All right, you guys gonna get mad at me this time about that? I've done that before. I've been beating down your door previously, and you gave zero fucks about it. Oh, yep, here we go. This time they gave some fucks about it, but that's okay. Yep, you're going to break down, come out the front, make sure those zombies are creeping up on me. Yeah, nah, we're all sweet. Hey, puppies, how you going? Damn it, they keep giving me nuggets. I mean, that's great. I can go sell them to the trader, but they don't actually give me anything right now. What about the gun store box? Oh, that level four shotgun. Take the ammo. That's, I do, I, I'm okay with that. The gun store boxes are my favorite boxes to raid by a long way, because I feel like when everyone gives me, like, nothing, everyone gives me nothing that I actually want, it still gives me something that I can actually use. One more box to raid over here. You've got another shotgun ammo, yep, and you, good, 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 got plenty of mechanical parts. There's like a purse up there. All right, I think we're good. I think we're all okay. Did I check the, I did check the safety net? Yes, I did. All right, anything else out here that I can quickly raid? I've got two hours left of the day. There's got to be one more thing, surely. I can squeeze as much into this day as possible. There's a, like a full seven days before the next horde. I just want more. Is that a, a passing gas over there? It is a passing gas over there. Maybe that's the last thing. I mean, I'm used to no crafting, or really at any other of my game modes, where all I want to do is raid passing gases because it gives me vehicle crates. In fact, this is a... Does this count as a mechanic shop? I'm not I'm not sure. There's a lot out here, actually. I, went, I kept going a little bit further west than I was just a second ago, and I thought there was nothing. And there's actually quite a bit. A nice little town out here. A nice little town full of loot. And when there's a full thing of loot, it's going to make me a full thing of loot. Oh, nah, never mind. We're not going to the passing gas. We're going to the cemetery here. Coffins have a pretty good chance of giving you some dye. And that's all I want. All I want is my sweet purple dye. Jump up to here. And no, what am I supposed to jump? Up to there. All right, we're raiding. We're raiding a cemetery in the zombie apocalypse. Just on the surface, that seems like a horrible idea, and I would kind of agree, but I need it. I mean, that's how desperately I want my Jabudal Purple. I'm going to take on literally the worst place you can go in an apocalypse. Oh, it's like a whole thing. It's like a whole dungeon. I might spend the whole night here. Who knows? If this is big enough, I can stay here. You know what? This thing looks like it's going to take me a fair while to do. So instead of that, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go save waypoint. I'm going to make it this one. I'm going to go cemetery so i can come back here tomorrow and do that raid are there any coffins i can re oh hey big mama how you doing any coffins i can real quickly dig up there's one there please give me some dye after i decapitate big mama now nah, she kept her kept, kept her head on her shoulders good on her got some ammo out of there Carl, where are all the coffins where are all the bodies they've all come out of here and reanimated surely your coffins are like on the surface now i've left it too long there's only half an hour before nighttime sets in and i have to go that way i'm pretty sure 
Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it back in time. At least I know where I'm going to go tomorrow. I have my plan set for the next day's adventures. Oh, there's a well there as well. Okay, there's a there's like a bunker at the bottom of that well, I've been told, for some other series. So I know I can do that. I can spend a whole day out here. Oh, yes, sweet air. That's the thing. Little dirt lumps in the middle of nowhere give you better air than the skate park ever would. Because the only way to actually successfully get up a ramp is to have it have the nice contours of like the the, the wilderness, these kind of things. If you're out, you can't make this. I wish there was a way that there was like a terraforming tool and you could like actually make the slopes really nice. Make some sweet dirt jumps for like a skate park made out of dirt. But it's never going to happen. You can't do it with wedge chips. You only have to hope for some sweet jumps out in the forest. Oh, God. That scared the balls out of me. Even though I'm on a bike, a dog horde coming out of nowhere scared the nipples off my chest. But it's all right. We made it home. Stop here. Those dogs will be coming for me. Quickly grab you. Run inside. Open the door, please. Okay. Are they, are they still coming? I know they're out there somewhere. I didn't quite make it home. It is after dark. I'll close that door. Go into my little fortress here. All right. Let's turn on everything here so I can go out to my uh, killing corridor. Attract some screamers now that there's a whole bunch of light out there. And just enjoy our time together. Just enjoy me and the screamers spending some quality time in the killing corridor getting shit done. Let's put all of you away. In fact... Uh, rocket launcher. I have another rocket launcher, I'm pretty sure. It's only, that's only level 2 as well, so I'm already packing a level 2 rocket launcher. Uh, the rocket launcher with the frag ammo doesn't actually do damage to the uh, killing corridor. So I think I might actually experiment that a little bit. Rather than using all the traps and shit I spent all that time building, I may as well just rock and roll with the rocket launcher and blow them all to smithereens if I feel like I'm getting a little bit over uh, overwhelmed with the zombies. Put all of you in there, everything I don't need. There we go. Put my health down there. That can go in the box as well. Okay, rocket launcher down here. Let's quickly reload you with some frag because at any point now, a scream is going to show up and I need to put my rocket straight down a throat. I can hear the footsteps. I think a screamer has just shown up. Uh, what's what's this turning on? That's the spotlight. So, oh, yep, there she is. So here's the thing, right? How much do we trust the hatches? If I can't throw a Molotov through there, what are the chances I can fire a rocket through there? This is like escalating the risk and reward so much. I mean, if I try and fire a rocket through that hatch, how you doing, gorgeous? It's going to explode in my face and I'm going to die and this whole world will be over. At least with the Molotov, I felt like, I mean, I had a chance. I could run over to my little puddles over here and put myself out if worst comes to, comes to worst. But if I explode a frag rocket three inches away from the tip of my nose, that is going to be the end of my entire face. The good news is though the stadium lighting looks fucking awesome like look at that you can totally see everything that's going on in there now the spotlights on the roof do absolutely dick all like i turn off the spotlights and nothing changes i'll keep them on for now anyway close the door for safety make sure all my hatches are closed yes they are all right i've got a hundred arrows let's uh let's start getting some xp and then eventually when it's all far too much for me i'll whip out the rocket launcher and do some damage with that because why not if they play with explosives is everyone's idea of a good time all right it's getting pretty hectic down there i'm not gonna risk the hatch right now i've got better things to do with my life than risk exploding in an instance let's go here and just go like right in the center oh <laughs> Oh, that doesn't tickle the end of my dick. I don't know what will. Let's do it again. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Look at the cacophony of carnage down there. God, every time there's like a big uh, a big grouping now, I just want to pull out the rocket launcher. I'm going to stand a little bit back just in case this goes really badly for me. Try and hit it straight through the middle. Fingers crossed, everyone. Oh, it went through. Oh, thank God it went through. Okay, that's enough rocket <laughs> I love it. I love just looking at the smoldering pile of bodies that I just eviscerated with a rocket launcher. Oh, it feels good. But I should probably save all those that frag ammo for the next horde night whenever that shows up. But it's just it's just a good time. That's just a rip-roaring good time. The horde is dead, so I'm going to quickly run out here and retrieve some of my arrows before the next set of screamers shows up. I also want to check out to see how much damage, if any, those frag rounds did to my killing corridor. It looks like none. God, there's a lot of shadows going on in here. That's really cool. It's so why did I why did I even bother with the spotlights? This is the way to do it. In fact, I'm kind of tempted just to make some more and just bang frames all uh, not frames uh, torches all the way around this thing as much as oh damn it I can't get across there now can I? Oh, uh, that's why that's why the hatches were always there because that's how you're supposed to use them. You're supposed to close them so you can run across that little drop there, but I didn't do it because I'm an idiot. Take those frames back and then go up like that. Don't leave frames on the outside again because I'll never come out and pick them up. Did that once and I were out here for like three days. There we go. All right, I'm ready for the next wave of screamers. 
Is there going to be one showing up anytime soon? I feel like there should be. This is usually me. That's usually the kind of distance between times. Distance between times. It's usually the amount of time between one orb showing up and the next one. But at any moment now, I'm going to get a whole new range of just XP goodness coming in. Ready to sacrifice themselves to my level up. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. I was getting myself some more arrows because I was running out just a little bit. Hey, darling. Hey, look, I'm going to stand right here. And you can just like, get a good view of me. Bring in all your friends. This is, this is perfect. I mean, I'm pretty much, if I stand right here, I'm basically invulnerable. The only thing that can get me is spiders, although now with the roof on the killing crowd, I don't think they can, and cops. But like when I'm inside my little bunker over there, I'm safe as houses anyway. So really, like building this setup ma makes me a god in this world, essentially. The only way I'll die at this point is my own stupidity, which in saying that, I, I get myself into more bad situations than anything else in this game easily. So really my own stupidity will kill me probably pretty soon. But until then, yes, yes, yes. Keep on screaming, keep on bringing friends. I'll just keep on harvesting XP. Um, there's, th there's four screamers here. There was three in the corridor. I saw one run up the side just down there. What are you doing down there, by the way? You're just, you're just chilling out, not even coming to kill me? I've got four screamers here. That's uh, that's pretty considerable. I don't think any rads have shown up here. If they have, I haven't quite seen them. Uh, quickly just keep on killing. Because let's get... Oh, yeah, I see some rad at the back there. I see some glowy, greeny goodness waiting to get through the crowd to come get me. This is getting a bit intense. This is getting a little bit over the top. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? You know what? I was I said I was gonna save it until later, but I feel like this is the perfect opportunity. Just quickly ah, get up the thing, up the thing here. And I wanna watch my uh my XP bar and see how much XP I get out of this. Oh wait, no, they've they kind of spread out a bit. We'll wait until they all group up again and then we'll fire a rocket straight into their midst and see what we get. In fact, that's that that's that looks good enough down there. The game is lagging out hard. Ah uh, 12,000 experience for one rocket! Oh, boy. All right, we need to turn on some things because this place is getting way, way too over the top. The game is struggling hard. I need to finish off some of these zombies. Go over here, go over here, and just go like this. Oh, there we go. Kill some of them. All right, turn off the electric fences because it's killing the game. Turn off the turrets because that's killing. All right, everything turn off again. That should be enough. That should be enough. One more rocket order to do it. Right in the guts. Another, another 11,000 XP. It's just XP on XP on XP here. One more. Uh. So, what? 15,000. Holy shit. That's, that's a lot. I mean, look. I killed all those zombies at the game runs normally again. That was a whole lot of zombified death. The side of that had enough of this Raz. So and he's going to get the shotgun right in his grills. Come on, can you die, please? You're the only one left alive. If all of your friends are dead, you've got nothing left to live for. All right, they're all gone. Drop down here. Grab the loot. Uh, nothing really, nothing really. One of these days, the game is going to reward me. It's going to, hey, you just murdered like 18,000 zombies in three seconds. So here, how about you have some purple dye? And I'll be like, cheers, big ears. I mean, 266 dollar reduce. That's okay. I'm going to check the other loot. Give me something. Oh, no, I mean, any other time I'd be pretty excited about finding Forge Steel in a drop, but I just want my purple, you know? That's all I want out here. Reward my heroic zombie killing efforts with exactly what I'm asking for. It's not that much. So I'm leaving the killing corridor for the night. So just to lock up and make sure it's all nice and safe and secure, I will turn on the turrets upstairs. So if a screamer does show up, these bad boys will just take care of it for me and I won't really have to worry. What kind of, uh, what kind of ammo are you guys rolling with right now? You've got 300 bullets left in you. And what about you? 300 in there. Alright, you guys hold down the fort. I'm gonna go back inside and sort out all my inventory and shit. Oh, what a day. I mean, I got a whole bunch of crap out of that. Can I open this box, please, and take all of that back? I just need to go through this. I've got so much crap now. I'm still so annoyed about that uh, other level 6 master rifle. I wasted all those materials building this one, and then the game's just like, haha, I know you just wasted your time and resources, so here is an extra one. And that really, really does piss me off. Uh, what have I got? How much does it cost to actually make a rocket launcher? I want a level 6 rocket launcher. I've only got level 2. You're re 80. 80 forged steel. You're fucking expensive too. In fact, I don't even think I have the, the perk to make that one yet. Do I? Um... What's it going to be under? It's going to be under... No, that's... I was searching for my armor stat because I hadn't put any into light armor a second ago. What are you? Advanced engineering, marks rifle, shotgun, rocket launcher. Don't even have that point yet. Do have one point to spend. I'm going to put it into... Uh, maybe... Maybe cardio. Yeah, let's, let's get my stamina up. I mean, at this point, I'm a bit of a beast all across the board. 
Oh, shotgun missile. I keep forgetting to put points in the shotgun missile. Shotgun missile has saved my life every bloody day. I should really reward it by putting some points into it. Come on, Josh. It's like your, your, your mainstay of seven days is like destroying zombies with a shotgun. Probably invest in that skill. But anyway, guys, it is almost 4 a.m. So I am going to have to leave this episode here. Tomorrow, I will go to that cemetery and raid it and see what I can find. And also the passing gas and the well. There's a lot of good raids to be done tomorrow on day 45. But I'll have to do that in the next episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons on patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one